Hi, till now in HIP, I discussed MaxCPFI and build MaxIF algorithm. There are two methods of constructing HIP. One is bottom up construction and another is top down construction. What I discussed before, like build MaxIF, that is an example of bottom up HIP construction. Bottom up HIP construction means first we'll create a binary tree according to level order, then we'll HIPify from the last parent node till root so that is a bottom of heap construction or you can say build max save. another way is top down heap construction we construct a heap by successive insertion of a new key into previously constructed heap every time we insert at the same time we need to heapify we need to make it a heap so first attach a new node with key k in up to last leaf of the existing leaf means suppose here we want to insert last node will insert here then shift k up to the appropriate place in the new heap like suppose this is a k so you need to shift it up if this value is greater than its parent then we need to shift here if this node is greater than its parent then we need to shift here like this will go till root so this is all about insertion, we will insert at last node, then we need to compare with its parent. If the new node value is greater than its parent, then we need to switch or you can say we need to shift. Like this we can compare till root. So this insertion operation cannot require more key comparison than heap height. We will insert at the lower level and we will go till root so maximum will be heap height since the height of the heap with n node is log n base 2 time complexity of insertion is order of log n base 2 let's discuss an example we'll insert a key 10 into a already constructed heap the new key will be shifted off via a swap with its parent until it is not larger than its parent or is in the root so this is a heap now we want to insert 10 here this is already heap we'll insert 10 here so we need to compare 10 with its parent is 10 is less than 8 no so parental dominance property doesn't satisfy we need to swap these two means 10 will come in 8 place and 8 will come in 10 place now after swap we got this Next, we need to compare with its parent, means 10 will compare with 9. Is 10 less than 9? No. So, we need to swap these two. 10 will go in root place and 9 will come here. So, finally, we got this hip. We inserted 10 at lower level, but now 10 is the root. In top-down hip construction, every time we insert a new node, we need to compare it with its parent and we need to shift it if this value is greater than its parent. For one node insertion, running time is log n base 2. For top down heap construction, we need to insert such n node. So, running time will be n log n base 2 for top down heap construction. And for bottom of heap construction, that is same as build max heap I already discussed. For build max if running time is also same order of n log n base 2. So this is all about top down and bottom up heap construction. Also I discussed how we can insert a node into a already constructed heap. Let's discuss how we can delete the maximum node. In case of max if where the maximum node present it's present at root. So how we can delete the root. There are some steps like first step exchange the root key with the last key of the heap that is step 1. Second step decrease the heap size by 1. Then third step heapify the smaller tree by shifting root. So there are three steps. First we need to exchange with the last node. Second we need to decrease the heap size. Third we need to heapify and we need to make it again a heap. Let's discuss an example. Deleting the root key from here, the key to be deleted is swapped with the last key 
after which the smaller tree is hippified. So this is J hip. Now I want to delete 9. 9 is the maximum. So what I'll do, I'll swap 9 with 1. So let me swap it. After swap, I got this. Next, I want to delete 9 or we can see we can decrease the hip size. If we we'll decrease the hip size, also it will automatically delete. Now after deletion, I got this. Now this is not a hip, so I need to hipify 1. Max hipify 1 means I need to compare 1 with 8. 8 is the larger. Then I need to compare 6 with 8. 8 is the larger. So I will swap 8 and 1. 8 will come here, 1 will come here. Next, I need to do max hipify of this 1. So 1 will compare with 2. 2 is the larger. Then I will compare 5 with 2. 5 is the larger. So I will swap 1 with 5. Now 5 will come here, 1 will come here. This is the new heap after deletion of node 9. The efficiency of deletion is determined by the number of key comparison needed to hippify the tree after swap has been made. We are swapping the root with the last node that is just one step. So after swap done in the process of hippify how many comparison we are doing that is the efficiency. Since this cannot require more key comparison than twice the heap height, the time efficiency of deletion is order of log n as well. This was about maximum key deletion. Heap sort is based on maximum key deletion. Suppose you want to delete any particular node. Suppose you want to delete 6. Then what you can do? You can simply swap 6 with the last node. Then you can delete the last node then you can hippify. So which node we want to delete that we can exchange with the last node. Then we can decrease the hip size. Then we can hippify it. In today's lecture I discussed top down hip construction, bottom up hip construction, how can insert a node, how we can delete a node. In next lecture I will discuss hip sort. If this lecture is helpful for you please like and subscribe. Thank you.